Eyes of 975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox One. Now today I'm going to do a long video, a very long video, talking about money making in Elite Dangerous. This has come about because so many people ask me how I make my money in Elite Dangerous because they see me doing like 3 billion credit competitions and paying people out 2 billion credits here, a billion credits there, uh, running bounties and doing stuff like that. And they wonder how I keep up with it all. Now, the biggest and most fundamental thing I'm going to say about money making is it's easier to make money with friends. It is easier to make money the more people that you play with. I couldn't make anywhere near as much money as I do without being in the open environment because a lot of my money comes from people sharing wing missions with me that I've only met and interacted with because I've met them in open, because I've met them and made friends with them. Now, you can make a decent amount of money in private group doing this. As long as you have a good group of people in private group that are willing to work together, then yes, you could make masses of money. But honestly, and ultimately, you really, really, really want to be in a large group of people um, sharing wing missions with each other. And the uh, I'll scratch your back, you scratch mine mentality is what makes the money. That's... That is truly and utterly what makes the money uh, in this game. I can honestly say I would not make anywhere near as much money as I do without the help and support of friends in game. These wing missions I'm picking up here were the result of two people sharing wing missions with me. Um, Serial Killer OG and the Selfish One. Uh, both shared wing missions with me just randomly, um, you know. And I share wing missions with people randomly. I quite often do big wing mission um, collections and then share them with various people. I've recently been using a lot of that to pay off um, people who've won competitions or had bounties uh, they want to collect from me. Um, with bounties I normally do that by a credit transfer out of my carrier so I have large stocks of materials um, and I you know, buy and uh, sell them to them cheap and then buy them back from, from them for very expensive prices thus transferring money to them um, now when it comes to money making in Elite Dangerous and Elite Dangerous in general I understand that a lot of people don't want to be in open when they're trading or mining or doing things like that and I understand that so I am going to say that the, the more people you interact with the more chance you have of people sharing stuff with you um, it also helps if you're generally known as being a nice guy that reciprocates and gives back to the community and gives back to the people that help you. Now, obviously I'm known as one of the most toxic players in the game, so I don't know why all these people are nice to me because I'm so horrifically toxic and vile towards everybody apparently. Um, but on the whole, I do find a lot of people are very generous towards me and, you know, with, with, there's a lot of backwards and forwards. I have a lot of fun uh, prattling around with members of the PvP community, uh, helping PvPers stay afloat uh, because they don't like doing missions and stuff like that. And I do. I am by nature a trader, a miner, and someone who makes a lot of money. Now, people get annoyed at me because I'm a pirate and they're always on at me to like, why don't you get your own stuff? Why don't you make your own money? And it's like, for 95% of the time, I do exactly what you do in game. I, I do trading, I do mining, I do power play. You know, I do virtually everything that most players do in this game. I try and experience every facet of the game. Now, when it comes to money making, I go with wing missions. Wing missions are by far the best method. Now, oddly, when I do the wing missions, so this stack of wing missions here that I'm sharing, I did these. So I paid for the materials. So I make less money than the other people in my wing that's where having friends comes in because when I share these missions I'm making less money because I paid for the materials that went into completing the mission I just did these missions on my own um, I'm now cashing them in and I do make some money out of it but ultimately the, the most money being shared here is to the other three people in the wing they inputted no money and are getting the full reward uh, so therefore you know they're the ones making the money but this becomes like the old proverb with the uh, the giant long chopsticks. If you feed each other, nobody has to starve. So, you know, 
Because I give away so much money in wing missions to so many wide variety of people, here I'm paying Kraken Moors for his bounties uh, that he earned um, killing Ragnarskot, I think it was, on a, on a double bo uh, bounty weekend the other week. Uh, you know, I'm happily spreading the love with the wing missions that I do. Uh, I share three with Kraken and then switch him out for, um, I think it's Dark Owl who comes in. Um, on this screen, I can't see the preview, but I think, yeah, I think it was uh, Star, you know, Polo, and then Dark Owl that I shared the majority of the missions with. Now, these were all mining missions with six days on them, but for materials you could buy. Now, the missions where you're giving cargo to deliver, don't touch them. Don't touch them with a barge pole. You're going to be moving like 5,000 tons doing 10 runs in a Type 9 or 9 or 10 runs in a Type 9 for like 20 million. Not worth it. Uh, these sort of ones, you're moving two loads of a Type 9 for 50 million credits. Uh, you can stack up tons of these missions. Now, to find these missions, what you need to do is make an area of the bubble your domain. Become allied with everyone around you, get to know the local area, and you will find st stations that um, there are refinery systems that have stations that are both industrial and agricultural and you'll find they all spawn these sort of missions eventually and when they're in certain states like boom and expansion you'll see more of these missions i mean there are certain stations out there that do spawn these missions more frequently than others but if you pretty much tame an area and get to know it you'll find places that spawn these missions all the time one of our recent ppi targets had three small outposts that spawned tons of these missions and in fact um i as part of our ppi just kept doing uh, mining missions that we could collect the materials for. Me and Al made a decent amount of money and pushed the influence against the faction we were working against just by doing the mining missions that were on offer by the faction we were pushing. Um, because they were a mining company and they just spawned a load of mining missions. So it's about knowing the local area. Then you want to get yourself allied with all the factions in that refinery system that has a lot of stations in it. A higher pop's got more chance of really spawning in a lot of missions. Ironically, Jameson Memorial is one of the best places for this, um, but you may not want to trade in open in and out Jameson Memorial. Just saying, it can be a little bit hazardous and some people don't like that. Um, but ironically, it's one of the best stations in the game for it. Uh, ultimately, I uh, use a pretty much out of the way system that just happens to have three, three or four stations in it. It's reasonable population. And because of the amount of stations and the amount of different boards I can look at, I can normally pick up a decent amount of missions. In this case, I think I was sharing 12 or 13 missions, I can't remember. And um, it's a decent chunk of change for the people in my wing. And if you look across the whole wing, it's probably about uh, 2 billion made between all of us. Now, honestly, that's the way I make my money is... What motivates me to do these missions is I'm helping other people. I don't actually need the money myself. Uh, I enjoy doing the trucking because I am by nature a space trucker. Um, you know, and I'm very lucky in the fact that people choose to reciprocate and give missions back to me. Um, you know, and people I know in game, um, because I'm on so often and I'm quite well known in the community, people share wing missions with me, which is really lovely. And I try and share wing missions with other people. Um, I always try and spread the love around. I always try and share the wealth. Money to me isn't important in this game. I have said many, many times, money is secondary to um, the engineering grind. I still think the engineering grind is way more important than the money grind. Um, the other thing is once you get to a certain limit with the money grind, it's kind of pointless. Um, in the course of this month alone, I've given away four and a bit billion so far, and I'm planning to give away another three and a half billion if somebody gets to three and a half billion in their account. I said I'd match it so they could then get seven billion so they can afford a carrier and have some left over. Um, that's how little I care about money in this game. It's not important. Um, I make money in this game because I enjoy playing this game. Um, you know, if you're chasing money and that's your prerogative, um, I think this game gets very dull very easily. The only thing that motivates me to go and make so much money in this game is the fact that I'm helping other people. That and I'm also funding terrorism across the bubble because I help a great deal of gankers and griefers make their money. Um, the 
because uh, yonks ago one of the lawful types got really annoyed with me and um, I, I said in response well I'm just going to help fund them if you hate them that much I'm happy to help float them and fund them and uh, there's a few people that share my uh, want for annoying certain lawful groups in the game by funding people who annoy them uh, ultimately though if you want to make money in this game I do have some decent tips for you um, I've made an absolute fortune in this game. I've given away an absolute fortune in this game. Um, one of the reasons I've made so much money is I've played a hell of a lot of time. And I spend a lot of that time trucking and space trucking around. Now, I will say this, that the fleet carrier is really, really good for making lots and lots of money. Um, there's many reasons why I recommend getting a fleet carrier to make tons of money. One of the main reasons is infrastructure failures I love a good infrastructure failure if you see a good infrastructure failure come up uh, head down there and load your carrier full of birchandite, indite, silver, gold anything you can lay your hands on because the prices you get will be absolutely ludicrous and then you can use them to complete these missions up you can store tons on your carrier uh, you have 25,000 tons of storage on your carrier um, I normally don't go anywhere without at least like a thousand platinum, a thousand pay night, um, a thousand silver, a couple of thousand gold, a few thousand birch and dyke. You know, I've always got stuff on me, so if I come across these missions, I'm normally ready to go. And because I can just park my carrier right next to the station, I can just whiz in and out. Cuts down the time massively. Um, you know, I think fleet carriers are much underrated. Also, if you want, you can set buy orders for osmium and, and um, bromulite on your carrier, and people will deliver bromulite and osmium to you for, and you can go up to like three, four times galactic average, and you'll still be making profit from the osmium and bromulite missions that you cash in, um, especially for your wingmates. This is the thing: doing these wing missions is quite often not about getting money for yourself, but about getting money for other people. Um, you share that wing mission with three other commanders you know even if you only make five million you're still the wing missions making 155 million because everyone else is getting 50 you're still making five everyone's making money and then when they share it back with you you're making the full 50 um, so this is all about helping each other get money um, you know um, and I know as someone who's apparently so toxic, it is surprising to hear me say that, you know, being nice and getting involved and sharing and like treating Elite Dangerous um, open as a community uh, will get you a lot further. Now, things to note with these uh, mining missions. As you can see, these are all completed. Now, I completed these the day before I dished them out because you can complete them and you can die you can have any mishap happen and they will be there completed won't well, matter the timer still keeps going but they originally had six days on them if you take like three days to complete them they'll still be there for three days so this gives you the opportunity to get people on so always try and make sure you got like the full wing before you start dishing them out you know i tend to collect up you can collect up 20 missions and if you get like four guys collecting wing missions that pay between 30 and 50 million and they all do their wing missions I mean you're talking on average three quarters of a billion each and then they all share them with each other you get why you make so much money now if you get people that are altruistic and are willing to put in the work you get massive rewards um, you know that's uh, the ideal is getting a wing of four where everyone does their 20 missions and shares them with each other that's the like absolute pinnacle of this uh with my group the dark marauders that doesn't tend to happen so much but uh you know uh scooby is a great one for sharing masses and masses of massacre missions um you know uh i share tons of mining missions and trading missions and uh, you know people do what people do in game um you know i share missions with people not because i expect them back but because you know I want to share the money with those people um, as a net result I get random people contacting me and sharing wing missions with me because I got a reputation of sharing wing missions around that's just the way it goes and I know some people in this game that really do meta game and power game the money game 
um, to ridiculous degrees. Uh, some of it I just think is a little bit over the top and crazy. I enjoy just running backwards and forwards in my timeline trading, so uh, this is really easy for me to do. Um, and like I say, my my main tips with this are gather the materials from infrastructure failures and sit there sit there on them in your fleet carrier until this sort of thing happens. Uh, be aware of system states. Get a local area that you tend to hang around in and get to know that local area. Even if that's Shinra or Desra, if you spend a lot of time there, you can keep an eye on the system states and see when these missions start spawning in. Um, you know, and don't be afraid to collect them up. And you can go off and do whatever you want. If you die, there's no penalty. They sit there. Um, when you hand in all the materials, just don't collect complete. Uh, don't select complete. Select back. The mission will stay completed until you then go later go back with a wing and complete them off. Um, now, when you stack up 20 missions or a dozen or so missions or that sort of level of missions, you are going to get a lot, and I mean a lot, of elite anacondas and dangerous anacondas coming after you. And this is not actually to be seen as a negative thing. Uh, they are stocked to the gills with prized materials. Also, their bounties are worth a decent amount of money. Now, what you can do is you can choose which system you kill those uh, bounties in so you can choose where you get the money from which faction those bounties fall under uh, this can be really useful for um, uh, BGS work and stuff like that because sometimes you want the bounty to be under a certain faction so you can use it to push influence for that faction in another system or you know or you want to get allied with a certain faction so it's really helpful. Also, they are stocked with materials, so get yourself like an anaconda with some collector limpets and you'll be laughing. Um, they are absolutely stocked with grade 4 materials. Uh, you can basically, once you've stacked up all the missions, just clear uh, you know, an hour or two of your calendar and just fly around. The only thing I would say as a negative is that being a pirate, um, when I've got these wing missions stacked up, if I go and try to pirate, I get these NPCs dropping in on me all the time trying to kill me in my pirate ship, which is a little bit of a pain when I'm in my shieldless Cobra Mark IV. Uh, but, you know, it's not too much of a hardship because I tend to plan when I'm going to do one of these big marathon goes at it. My only danger is stopping because when I was handing these missions in, I was aware that it was still spawning more of them. And my problem is I keep going and going and going and find myself doing this for days and days. Um, and then my content becomes very stale and dull because all I've done is make money. Um, I'm addicted to making money in Elite Dangerous, so it's handy for the people who know me because they benefit. It's like at the moment, I'm down in a mining site, mining bromulite, while I'm recording these videos. Not because I, I need the bromulite, but because in a couple of weeks, it's, I'm going to do another run of missions, and if I have 3,000 bromulite on board, I need like between 170 and 200 tons per mission. Each mission will be between 25 and 33 million per mission. I can stack up a load, you know, and share that out. And I can sit and do mining while I'm recording YouTube videos and rendering videos. It's a, a simple pastime in which I'm not in that much danger, especially when I'm hidden deep within a ring miles from the star. <laughs> you know, it. Honestly, the stuff I get up to in this game um, is quite crazy. But I would say, as a tip, I wouldn't say do that. Um, you can make a lot of money, Bromulite mining and Osmium mining. Um, but the wing missions that you can actually go buy the stuff for will generate more money more quickly. Um, so only do the laser mining for Osmium and Bromulite if you're really into mining. Uh, don't worry about it really otherwise and um, bromulite has lower yields but is easier to find osmium you can get up to 60 percent rocks and you get higher yields from those rocks but it's harder to find you just kind of want to drop in on a pristine ring um, if you're looking for osmium it's kind of awkward you do get missions for samarium and paradisium but they're not particularly that good i would stick with the osmium and bromulite missions they tend to be reasonable um, but like I say, that's a secondary side thing. The main takeaway is the reason you do the mining missions is the 
the amount you need is less and the reward is higher. And also it has six days on it, so there's no pressure. Now, if you wanna know how to identify system states, unfortunately the easiest way is EDDB. You can search for in, um, infrastructure failures, you can search for systems in boom, you can search for you know, whatever desired state you want. Uh, with infrastructure failures, a lot of the time when you go down there, the gold and platinum will just be brought up instantly. But people tend to leave the Bertrandite and Indite alone. And uh, these missions, I, I would honestly say, it's worth stocking up on your fleet carrier. Um, you know, it's if you've got a fleet carrier, then definitely take advantage of that because storing it up makes these missions way, way quicker. Uh, if you haven't got a fleet carrier, you can still do these missions. You just need to know where you can get stuff from in your local area. Uh, you can use EDDB to find stocks. Make sure you check the levels of stock for the items. Also, make sure you check how far the station is from the star and what size landing pad it is. Um, these are all vital bits of information. I did do a load of these missions recently from small platforms, and I've got to say, it was way more painful having to deliver um, 900 tons of bromulite to a platform than a big station. Because one and a half runs in my Type 9 is way quicker than that many runs I had to do in my Python. Um, also, I prefer flying my Type 9. So ultimately you know what i'm saying is be nice play with others learn a local area look for uh, refinery systems with high population that are in boom and expansion states um, you can if you're smart enough trigger those states uh, <laughs> though the owners of the faction may not happy happy about that uh, you know they're not normally unhappy about you putting them in boom, but expansion can be a pain. Um, so, you know, be careful with that. Um, always, always keep an eye out for infrastructure failures because they're worth harvesting if you have a fleet carrier. Uh, there's no better thing than local knowledge and there's no better thing than having a bunch of people reciprocating and being generous and sharing missions with each other. Uh, you know, that... You know, always be a generous and giving person. That's what I say. <laughs> I, I would make a joke about something, but there was a video put out about me and Scooby, and my only concern with it was that as long as I was portrayed as being generous and giving, I was quite happy about it. Um, <laughs> but I won't go into that. Uh, those that know about it know what I'm on about. Um, but yeah, that's my main tips. Uh, that's pretty much it. That is how I make my money in Elite Dangerous. I make my money because I play an absolute shed ton of analysts and I put in an absolute massive amount of time. Uh, there are, you know, I would say if it looks like an exploit and smells like an exploit, be very careful. It probably is an exploit. And FDEV do have a record for taking money away from people using exploits. So keep an eye out. If FDEV says something's an exploit, stop doing it. Um, honestly, though, this is legitimate money making at its finest and it's about community and sharing and i know there's guys that want to stay in solo i understand that uh, they have no interest in playing with other people i don't expect my videos to be getting views from that many people that play that way but you know there are still some tips you can take from this uh you know you can still benefit from infrastructure failures etc but when it comes to me the one thing i always remember is the money is not important to me I like to spend my money on bounties and competitions because it's not about money, it's about sending a message. Everything burns.